Hey folks, BC7 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Farming Simulator 2011 with Pro Farm and of course all the other DLC that Giants released and along with mods. We are playing on the Downbill map and I will of course leave a link in the description. It is from FSUK as most of my mods are. So, today, well, I finally finished that monstrous barley field. Uh, was that barley? Yeah. And I finished the even more monstrous wheat field. We can see across the street there that stretches pretty much from horizon to horizon. And, uh, darn good thing too, because we're actually down to, I believe, about $700. Now, ah, here's where we want to be. So what I've done is our truck is full of wheat and our trailer is full of wheat and we're going to sell some stuff because we really, really, yeah, $777, I'm thinking uh, we need money. So let's dump this. And look at that. We now have... <laughs> hundred and eighty thousand dollars that's a little better um, this thing I'm gonna sell as well um, I like the capacity on this truck but in all honesty it does not work that well it just doesn't so yeah all right well that's gonna get us a little ways oh almost always forget in 2011, you must rehook, reattach, whatever, all of your gear. So, let's dump that. Ooh, we might just make our 200k here. There we go. Nice. 213k. Oh, that's hard to complain about, isn't it? So now. We need to take this stuff because we're going to end up off in pretty much everything we currently have. Uh huh. I have no idea if I'm headed in the right direction. I kind of hope so. I suppose we could look at our map. They did give us one. Oh, yeah. Mill's actually a little ways away from uh, the rest of the stuff, I'll tell you. Especially when you have tractors that just don't go all that fast. So. so how's everybody been doing? Weekend's coming up. Hopefully, uh, at least for my part of the world, the uh, weather will clear a little bit. We've had some pretty rainy, windy days. My cats are not impressed. See, May is always a beautiful month in this part of the world. Uh, you think summer has come with a vengeance. And that kind of makes us forget that June is usually a just bloody horrible time around here. Yeah, I have uh, lived on the West Coast since the early 70s, and uh, as far as I can remember, and granted my memory ain't what it used to be, if it ever was that, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think we've ever actually had a nice June. Yeah. So, let's go find Mr. Horrible Truck. Yeah, I'm just not that impressed with this. I think we'll be able to find something considerably better. I mean... It runs at speed um, when it's empty. If you put the slightest amount of grain in it, it doesn't. Um, it's also a little bit lurchy, plus the fact that, you know, I'm sorry, but yeah, there's no way in heck that uh, this thing would hold the amount of material they say it does. Other than that, it's a cool looking truck, and it was pretty cheap. It's probably not even worth selling, to be honest with you. We should probably just park it at the farm, but there we go. All right. So, let's get to getting, shall we? Alright, so, 
we're going to sell the old lizard tractor we're going to sell this lizard tractor okay and then it should be pretty much they don't have an owned page like they do for uh, 2013 so we're going to sell this we're going to sell this and then we're going to sell the heads for them lovely that should do for that trailers we're going to sell this horrible thing and I think that's all we have implements um no, I don't really care what plow we have this cedar we got to get rid of that that's just crud uh, as well as although it would appear that that's actually one of the biggest sprayers they have isn't it ha yeah, okay we're gonna off that one because we would like a bigger one so uh, tractor weights and such I don't think we've actually got much else they don't start you with a whole bunch and miscellaneous nothing okay so I think we've pretty much sold everything we own <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so what are we gonna do here uh, That guy is 277,000. This guy's only 84. But he also will only hold 8,000 liter. This guy holds 10,5. That's still a lot more than what we had. 6.5 meter width compared to. Yeah, that's the big difference is the cutter is 3 meters wider. So, do we have any others though? We have lots of tractors, which is nice. Uh, here we go. We have some Fent harvesters. 9,000 liter. They come with 6 meter cutters. Eh? Oh, 7.7 .7 for the 7,700. Uh, hmm. So yeah, we've actually got some pretty good choices there. Um, what else? some really decent tractors okay well I think we need to start with a harvester and quite frankly we don't need to start with a tiny little one so let's go for it's gonna cost us pretty much all of our money uh, 270 and then the cutter will be three yeah we'll have to uh, I think pick up a decent tractor first and then uh, haul a little more grain so we have I get that John Deere is pretty cheap but I think that's a bale trailer grain trailer here we go so we buy do we want the western star or do we want the Stobert Scania let's buy the Scania and let's buy the trailer there we go because we are going to need thank you <coughs> excuse me we are going to need to do another load of grain here so we can get what we can actually afford and I believe enter on the numpad starts this there we go nice how's the inside uh, not bad not bad a little dark not exactly the highest level of textures but hey this, uh, I will tell you one thing though, I've had this trailer before, and this has got to be one of the nicest trailers I've seen. Like, yeah, this is a seriously nice trailer.
it works really well it looks howler and it's one of the only ones I've ever seen where they actually got it right the chrome the reflective chrome yeah really nice as well you can take the tarp off roll it up and the inside of this thing look at that polished mirrors yeah <laughs> pretty nice stuff so we will take the oh fine go we're gonna take this up to the oh goodness not weird never had an issue with it before I have used it huh well that's not very impressive not at all so there we go now we're moving she does ooh, just around 60 which is great plenty fast enough for the simulator anyway all right did that okay that can be worrisome Usually you'll find if they react really badly on a lump on pavement, um, like that little hill there, if that causes it to go airborne, yeah, probably get rid of the mod, because it's only going to end up being trouble. Now, actually room to get under a silo around. Oops, 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 oops. Doesn't exactly come to an instant stop, but I guess person should kind of expect that, shouldn't they? thing probably weighs hundreds of tons. Well, maybe not hundreds of tons, but... Oh, am I going to even get in here with this thing? Just barely. Not good. Not good. Yeah. That didn't work out very well, and I'm apparently stuck now. So. That's weird. Um. Only, recogni oh, only recognizing certain parts of the vehicle, but so how about if we do that? Oh, now it's filling with grain. That's just perfect. Just perfect. Um, hmm. This is not the scenario I was hoping for. <laughs> I probably should have come in from this side. I'm going to try something you don't want to do. Okay, see that's why the issue there is some clipping on this trailer, huh? And I'm gonna end up having to reset all my vehicles aren't I? Dang Not happy about that But that's okay. This is a good opportunity to uh, See what happens if you're not really really careful of what you're doing Open and eventually by coming up and being able to hook maybe a little bit from the angle here and I might be able to yank it straight because I really don't want to reset vehicles it's a heck of a pain in the butt in this game There we go. Yeah. Alright. We've not only got it straightened out, we're actually filling it up. 
Oh, okay. I'm sure there are easier ways to do that, I'll tell you. Yes, indeed. So, kind of a big truck for a little farm, but we want to move a lot of goods, and this is going to do just that. Yeah. I don't know how many hundreds that I ended up getting off of that field, but it was massive. There, let's throw the tarp across it. Now... Alright, we're still not quite out of the woods here. Okay, I think we cleared it finally. Whew, well that was a little bit of effort. Why are those down? Huh, not weird. See how the uh, support legs are kind of down? Not odd. Oh, but it doesn't look like the ready truck is actually connected, does it? No, it is. Huh. Alright, well. Off to the mill we go. With a large load, hopefully worth a dollar or two. Yeah. This field has already grown back, but that's fine. That's our little private field. Our sort of hobby field. Of course not, you stop for that little car. Why would you stop for a fully loaded semi? Alright, well, I'm gonna pass you. See, here's one of the differences. You know, as you would expect, from a vehicle of this size and displacement, um, loaded or unloaded, it is capable of reaching its uh, estimated top speed. Yo, doesn't mean I'm capable of driving it at that speed, but it is capable of reaching it, and that makes a difference. So, there we go. I had quit jumping the sidewalk, but hey, this thing's a semi. <laughs> and yeah, it takes up a little bit of road. But this is going to end up giving us enough money that we should be able to, <coughs> excuse me, score a couple of decent tractors. Or at least one. And uh, a nice harvester. And this thing has a unique dumping system, too. It actually dumps its grain. See, it's dumping it out of those little center ones. So, it's kind of cool. 572,000. Okay. Now I think we can afford to buy the stuff we wanted to buy. Indeed we can. Whoop, 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 whoop. I am out of control. Look out, people. What are you doing, dude? Boo. You also notice how quickly this thing overtakes vehicles, and yet the other truck, when it said 60 miles an hour, was not overtaking vehicles. So yeah, I think it uh, it kind of had issues. It was a neat truck, but not what we actually needed. So I think we're going to end up having to sell them. I'm just going to pull this one off the road for now. Get out, go across the road. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to sell Mr. Truck, I think, is going to go. Where'd you go, buddy? There you are, Ford Cargo. Oh, we're only going to get $500? Well, might as well keep the damn thing. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, this is kind of a neat deal. I like this. Flegal hook lift. But it's 75k, and then 3,000, 3,000, all of these little parts. Okay. Uh, we will be needing one of these. Do I want the tracked one? Or do I want the other one? Oh. Ooh, I like these. They're kind of nice, too. Eh? A little pricey, but hey. It'll be worth it. I mean, that's a fair-sized tractor. 178 horse. Wow, that is a big one. Nice. 
What's the difference? Oh, big bonnet, small bonnet. Okay. And you got these guys. 212 horse. Oh, they're even bigger. 203 horse. Them nice tractors there, I tell you. 9 meter. Okay. Alright, so. I think for tractors. Uh, that one's a bit much, so. Yeah, probably gonna get a fent maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But I do know that we need this. Thank you. And we need this. Uh, nice. Uh, do I have corn planted? I don't know that I do yet. So let's hold off on that. A cutter trailer. Yeah, for ten grand we should have one. Alright, now we know where we stand to get the rest of our goodies. Uh huh. Multi purpose a baler. Hmm. A little baler for fifty K, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go into our normal one here. Just to see. Now, see, these are considerably more expensive, for sure. Tippers and trailers. Slurry tanker. Fuel tankers. <coughs> Excuse me. I will be buying a... Um, whatchamacallit at some point. Um, forage wagon. Okay. So that's what we've got here. Alright, to say not much would be an understatement, so let's go back to 112,000, 120,000 for their balers. So, if we look at the modable baler, the mod available baler, we'll find that, where'd it go here, there we go, 50k, half the price. Square baler. Alright, we'll try it. Ninety horse, new. Uh, hundred sixty-five horse. Okay, that's getting a little pricey. Bale fork. Okay. Uh Six meter. That's a fair size. Eh? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we definitely uh, want to buy that. Okay. And <coughs> excuse me. I think we'll buy a John Deere. Come on. Buy it up. Sometimes this game kind of a little slow for buying stuff. I don't know why in particular. Uh, we are going to need a cedar. Come on, buy it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And... We need that for the straw mod. And... What else do we not have now? We have one tractor anyway, right? So... We also are going to need... Okay, that'll be parts for the telehandler. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we're good for all of that. Um, cultivator. That's so what we need is a good sized cultivator. Uh, nope. I thought I had one too, you know. I do, I do, I did, I did. Ah. Hello, Mr. Cultivator. Oh, there we go. Six meter. Perfect. 
Okay. Now I need to go back to implements, I believe. No, probably not. Uh, trailers, combines, tractors. Here we go. Not that set, but I need the gear for this one. Okay. Uh, bale fork we have. I need the pallet fork. I need the shovel. And then... Good. Alright. That should be a good start for us anyways. What do we got here? There's our new harvester. Lovely. All of this gear. Yeah. Wow. That's quite the cultivator. There's our new cedar. Alright. Here's our truckators. Beautiful. This John Deere isn't the greatest one, and we will replace it, but it's a nice one to start. Oh, that John Deere. I really like the little telehandler, actually, so, yeah. Uh, though, yeah, perfect. Okay, I think that's going to do for us to start our stuff. So, we will... I'll load all this up and take it back to the farm, and next episode we'll get farming with some serious equipment. So, there you are. We made a bunch of money, and we spent it just about as quickly. <laughs> so, this has been Species 7. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care of each other, and until we meet again, well, ciao for now, folks.